Americans possess a lot of rights and the number is growing. The Constitution guarantees the rights of free speech, free religion, and the right to bear arms. Judicial alchemy has created brand new rights such as abortion, gay marriage, etc. Is it time for yet another the right to a job? That's what economist Mark Paul is arguing. In a recent column for the Jacobin magazine, Paul says the government ought to offer a job guaranteed, paying at least 23 grand a year to anybody who wants one. He says this would permanently fix the problem of the working poor. Is it madness or brilliance? Maybe both? Professor Paul joins us tonight from Raleigh, North Carolina. Professor, thanks for coming on. Um, thanks for having me, Tucker. I'm not here to attack you. I, I think there is a huge problem as we transition out of an industrial economy with what people do for a living, and clearly we've left a lot of people behind. The first thing that bothers me about your idea, though, it does seem like giving up. It, it, it feels like admitting that some people are never going to be integrated into whatever the new economy is. They can't succeed, so let's just put them on the dole, in effect. Is that what it is? Absolutely not, Tucker. First of all, thanks for having me on. But I have to say, I couldn't disagree with you more on this fact. I believe strongly in American workers. But what I think is, right now, the market is failing far too many. Right now, yeah. we have 15 million Americans that are unemployed or looking for full-time work and simply can't find it. I think yes. that anybody who wants to work should be able to find a job, and that's what this program does. And when you talk to employers, what do they want? They want an educated and skilled workforce. How do workers build skills? They build it through working. Talk to employers. One of the biggest problems they have is the fact that they don't want to hire people that are unemployed. Let's put people to work. Let's help them build skills. The best way to acquire those skills is on the job. And through this type of program, you know, we could really be rebuilding our infrastructure, which will also help private businesses exceed and expand. See, I don't think, that's, I don't think anything you've said is crazy at all. And I, so, again, I'm <laughs> taking you seriously because I think there is a problem, and you've identified it, and God bless you for doing that. The problem I have with it, though, is that people will not work unless there's an incentive to. I won't. I'd sit around all day if I didn't have to work. And so what's the incentive for people to take these jobs? Would you eliminate current welfare programs? No. First of all, 15 million Americans, again, want to work. They're actively seeking employment, and the private market is not providing them. You're right. going to tell me that those 15 million Americans don't want to work? I'm sorry, but there's plenty of Americans that want to work and simply can't find jobs right now. So what right jobs now, are these? Where do they come from? Hold on a second there. Yeah. Right now, there are uh, four job openings for every 10 workers seeking employment. There's simply not enough jobs for these workers. So right. it's not about people not wanting to work. It's about the market not providing adequate employment for these workers. This program will do that. So now you asked me about the types of jobs. Plenty of types of jobs. I mean, Americans walk outside of their front door every day and see plenty of things that we could be investing in as a society building schools, building roads, creating high-speed rail. Right now, we're living in a 20th century economy. We need to update. Uh, president Trump uh, has been continuously talking about being the jobs president. He wants to rebuild America's infrastructure. You know what? I would like to, too, and this type of program could provide the labor for that, such, you know, that type of program. Right, but you've got to get immigration under control, because $23,000 a year is higher than the per capita income of over 150 countries, including the biggest countries, China, Brazil, Russia, India. Mexico, which is right there, if you don't shut the borders, you would have a massive influx of people coming here to take advantage of a guaranteed $23,000 a year, obviously. What would you do about Look, that? No, right now we're talking about providing jobs to citizens. Uh, in some ways, there are shortcomings with that, but right now, this is a program to put Americans back to work. We already see legislation that's been put forth that is similar to my idea by uh, Congressman Conyers. Uh, and the legislation applies to uh, American citizens that are seeking a job. Uh, there are 15 million of them that would like to work, and I would like to put them to work. This type of program can do that. And, uh, you know, when you're talking about what types of jobs these are, again, we could be investing in human skills, too. Let's talk about things like universal child care. Um, you know, let's talk about taking care of the elderly. There's plenty of jobs that can be done that can be done. And if, you know, we can't think of those jobs, I think that's a failure of our imagination rather than the fact that there's not sufficient work to be done I in this country. I tend to agree with you there. I guess th my last sort of skeptical instinct comes from the fact that I'm around government workers all the time. My dad was one. I, some of them are great, but sure. some of them treat their jobs like they're a joke. Go to the DMV. That's a real thing. You go there. You know that. They don't take their jobs seriously. And so why wouldn't these 15 million workers in new government jobs have the same attitude? You know, I, I think that uh, people genuinely want to work. There's a tremendous amount of dignity to work, yeah. and that these individuals have given an opportunity. I'm a firm believer that, that folks will want to work, will do a good job, will, you know, be productive members of our society. We simply want these okay. people to contribute to our society. They want to contribute. We want to let them contribute. All right. But well, right I, now, they're not I, given a fair share of doing that, a fair shot at doing that, and this well, program can I give agree them with just your that. aim. We're out of time. Professor, thank you.